So the next one is an absolute value. Now we have a vertical stretch. Oh, OK, that's an A. Reflect the y-axis. Mm, that's B. Shift left two units. OK, that's B as well. So let's see here. So I have, now since I have a B and a C, I'm going to want to make sure that I write it in this, I write it with the B factored out. Really, really important. Make sure you guys write this as the B factored out. Do not write it as BX minus C. OK, make sure you write it in this factored form. So a vertical stretch of 2, or so let's write it out first. Now, could I do plus D at the end if I wanted to? Yes, but do we have a D? No, no so I'm just like not going to spend the time for it, OK? Um, so my A is 2. Oh, I just said don't write it. Write it in the factored form. Don't write it in this format. Write it in the factored form. OK, and I'll, so you'll see why that makes, a, why that change, why that um, changes our answer in a second. So B is reflect y-axis. That means B has to be negative. And do we, does it have a compression though or stretch? No. So it's just like a negative 1. So we'll just write negative. And then it's x shifting to the left 2. So that means to be a negative 2. So that's another plus 2, right? I did that twice? Yeah, I did. Now, that is perfectly correct. If you gave me that as your answer, I would say, good job. You got it right. On a multiple choice test, that's not going to be, usually they're going to simplify this. So what they would do is they would distribute the negative, And a multiple choice answer, even though that's correct, would look like this. Or they could even have more fun with you and flip things around and make it look like that. All of these are correct. Okay, if you gave me any one of those answers, you'd be correct. But guess what the number one mistake students are going to make? The number one mistake students are going to make is they're going to plug it in without the parentheses, and they're going to plug it in like this. Negative x, negative x plus 2. That's what they're going to put in. Because they're not going to put the parentheses there. They're not going to put the b outside. So this will, they'll just write, oh, it's a negative. OK. And then, oh, it's left 2. Got it. No, no, no. You got to make sure if you have a B and a C that you, when you're entering it in, that you have it in that factored form. Because you guys can see the correct answer is negative x minus 2, not negative x plus 2. But that will be a very, very good answer choice that a lot of people will get wrong. Right? Maybe that's a good, like, hint, hint, wink, wink. Something could be coming down the pipeline for you on that. <laughs>